All right, so one minute to start time. So let's start by laying down first. So go ahead and place the bolster right behind your tailbone and roll down onto the bolster. Spread the legs and the arms out. Closing your eyes. Let's start that deep yoga breath. Inhale, plate the belly, expand the chest, bring it all the way up to the collarbone. Hold at the top for three seconds and then big exhale for a count of six. Keep going. Four more deep breaths. Three more deep breaths. Two more breaths. And one more deep breath. All right, it is now 9.31, so let's get started with our practice. A one hour journey into health and wellness, completely relaxing and working your breath with the movement. So let's start by interlacing your fingers, arms overhead. Feet together, flex your toes like you're first waking up in the morning, which you are, it's Monday morning. And let's start by bringing the arms down slowly and bringing the arms up slowly. And don't forget to breathe. So as you inhale, bring the arms up. As you exhale, bring the arms down. Five more breaths, inhale and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more breaths, inhale and exhale. Two more times, inhale and exhale. Last time, deep breath, inhale and exhale. Bring the arms up, cross the right arm over the left, walk the fingertips to the shoulder blades. Feel the stretch here. And now switch sides, left arm over the right. Feel the stretch, walk the fingertips all the way back to the scapulae, the shoulder blades. Feel the stretch. And now dynamic movement, place the hands on the floor. So tops of the hands on the floor, transverse. And then cross the right arm over the left and try to reach the fingertips to the ground. Uncross, open, and now take the left arm over the right and try to reach the fingertips to the ground. How does this breath go? Inhale, open, exhale, cross over. Inhale, open, exhale, cross over the other arm. So keep alternating. Three, two, and one. But bend the elbows 90 degrees, take the palms down and take the tops of the hands down. Keep going, stretching those shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Now take the hands overhead, keep the elbows on the ground so you feel the whole shoulder joint stretching. Armpits are facing the ceiling. Thumbs are touching, index fingers are touching. Create a triangle over your head. More breaths here. Uh, 
All right, and bring the arms out. Find your butterfly. Soles of the feet together. Feel the stretch here. Now bring the knees together, roll over to the side, and place the bolster to the side. Take the right foot over the left thigh, open and close, open and close, just warming up that hip joint. Now place the right hand, with the palm on the right thigh, opening the hip joint, knee away from the body. Good, lift that left leg up, figure four, four breaths here. Good, switch. Take this left foot over the right thigh, open and close, so bring the knee to the midline of the body and then bring the knee away. Keep going, inhale and exhale. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, open. Three, two, and one. Left palm on that left thigh, open the knee up. And when you're ready, bring that right foot up. Interlace your hands behind the right knee, figure four. And gently release. Let's do half a baby. Grab the hands to the soles of the feet, rock back and forth, left to right. Good. Cross at the ankles, round your back, chin to the chest, Good. and bring the legs down. Now point the toe up, the right foot, point the toe up, flex the foot, and bring it down, just warming up. Three. Don't forget, inhale, come up, exhale, flex, two, and one. And now keep the foot up, flex, feel the stretch of the back of the leg. Take the hands, interlace behind that right knee, feel the stretch, keep the hips square. And now take that right hand to the right thigh and bring the leg out. Good, now hook this right foot behind the left knee. Come in for a spinal twist. Bring that right knee all the way over to the left side. Wrap this left hand around the waist and bring the right hand overhead. Feel the stretch here. And now take this right hand down and over to the side transverse. Try to reach the fingertips to the ground. Your shoulders should be off the ground or just warming up. And return, let's do the other side, point the toe up, flex, and bring it down. Three more times, point the toe up, flex, bring it down. Two more times, point, flex, down. One more time, point, flex, down. Good, now bring it up, feel the stretch. Keep both knees straight. Take the hands behind that left knee and draw that knee closer to the chest, that left knee closer to the chest. Good, take this left hand to the lower leg and bring that left leg over to the side. Feel the stretch here. Keep the hips square. Good, now hook this left foot behind the right knee. Okay, now take this left knee all the way over to the right side. Good. All right, fingertips touching the ground. Your left shoulder could be off the mat. Just bring that left knee over to the right side of the mat. Wrap this right hand around the waist. Bring that left hand up, feel the stretch. Good, bring the left hand down and over transverse, feel the stretch. And come back. Cross at the ankles again. Rounding your back. 
Beautiful. All right, windshield wipers. Bring the feet flat on the ground, knees bent. Draw the knees to the left. Bring the knees up. Draw the knees to the right. Bring the knees up. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Good. The pelvic curls. Lift the hips up. And now one vertebra at a time from the 12th thoracic, lumbar one, lumbar two, three, four, five, and then S1, two, three, four, five until the tailbone comes down. Slight arch to the back, open the chest, and then round that lower back, bring that lumbar to the back and lift the pelvis up. So pelvic rocking here, this is great for your back. Just getting that lower back mobility if you have back issues. Inhale, arch. Exhale, touch that lumbar region, all the lumbar vertebrae right to the mat and lift the pelvis up and then finally lift all the way up. So it's a subtle movement here. I go slow so I can feel every single vertebra getting stretched, all the ligaments, all the muscles, the erector spinae or spinae muscles along the lumbar region. Good. All right, tuck the knees into the chest, round your back again. And now rock and roll back and forth three times. One, two, and three. Good. We're going to do the mermaid stretch in the beginning um, and then go on our belly. I just want to change it up a little bit. So take this left knee. Bend this left knee in front. Take this right knee, bend it, bring it behind you. Take this bolster to the left hip. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Take this left hand on the bolster, take the right hand over the head. And now with your right hand, reach for that left wrist and feel the stretch along the obliques, the side of the body. Three breaths. Come on up, stretch on the other side. So take this left hand either to the ankle or thigh, wherever you feel good, or even lower leg. Right, uh, left hand all the way over to that right side. Feel the stretch on the left side, opposite side. Good, okay, so now keep that tummy in nice and engaged. We're gonna stretch the quad, so bring the heel up and take that right heel to the, to the hips, to the right hip. Breathe deeply here. And release, mermaid on the other side. So bend the right knee in the front, bend the left knee behind you. Take that bolster right by the right hip, tummy in, slide over with your right hand, along the bolster, left hand over the head, and take that left hand and wrap your hand around the right wrist and pull forward in this direction. So you feel the stretch along the whole left side of the body. Good, now prop yourself, place the left palm on the ground, so you can come up, keep this mermaid position, tummy in, take your left hand either to the leg or to the thigh on the right side, whatever feels comfortable for me. I wrap my hands right around that right leg. I lift my right hand up, lengthen first, and then go over to that left side so my whole right side of the body is getting stretched. Feel the stretch here. Good, and come back. Now let's go on to our tummy using the bolster. So place the bolster right along the entire trunk of the body. Forehead is to the ground. Place your hands lined up. Your fingertips should be lined up with the shoulders. Hug the elbows towards the rib cage as you come up into a low cobra. Exhale, come down. And here we go, another low cobra, and hold for two breaths. 
exhale, come down. Now we're gonna do high cobra. Elbows remain bent, but only slightly. And you bring your chest up a little bit higher. So it's a little harder here. Two breaths, keep the shoulders away from the ears. One more breath and come down. Good. This time, seal pose. We're going to straighten the elbows all the way and feel the stretch in the back. Good. All right, come down. Now, staying uh, on your belly, place the bolster in front of you, forehead to the ground, arms out transverse. Bend this left knee and take this left foot all the way over to that right side towards the right hand. Feel the stretch here. Okay, now you can take this left hand over the head or you can place it right here in the front of your body, lined up above your chest. So one long line between the left hand and the right hand behind you. If you're feeling flexible, you can take your left foot and hook it with your right hand. When I come to the other side, you'll see that a little bit better. Rest your head on the ground. Two more breaths. One more breath. And release. And let's go to the opposite side. So left cheek to the mat, bend the right foot, and take the right foot all the way over to the ground. And if you're flexible, take your left hand with your, and hook it with your right foot, as you can see here. Head is on the ground, right hand either overhead, or straight in front of you. Four breaths here. And release, good. All right, come up into a child's pose. Open the knees out, big toes together, and forehead to the ground, arms overhead. Lips all the way to the heels. All right, come up onto the knees. And I want you to cross your legs now. Thumbs up or down, whatever feels good for you today. Shoulders down and away from the ears. Lengthen the spine. Slightly tuck in your chin, but keep that nice, long, elongated neck. Close your eyes. Take five deep breaths here. The deep diaphragmatic breathing begins in the belly, expands into the rib cage, chest, all the way up to the collarbone. Diaphragmatic breathing occurs in opera singers and swimmers and most athletes. You need to be able to expand deep within the belly so you can drop your diaphragm and fully expand the lungs. So let's do five at our own pace. Inhaling for six, holding for three seconds at the top, and then exhaling for six. Five at your own pace now. When you're ready, open the arms out, lift the arms up, exhale, prayer position. Set the intention for the remainder of this practice. We're going to say this affirmation out loud or quietly in your head. I am strong in body, mind, and soul. I am strong in body, mind, and soul. I am strong 
in body, mind, and soul. Palms overhead, three breaths. Two breaths. One breath. Stretch the arms out and draw the chin to the chest. Raise the arms up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Two more. One more. Keep that back straight. Rotate that left ear to the left shoulder, chin to the chest. Rotate that right ear to the right shoulder, chin to the chest, bring the head up, turn the head over to the left, up to the center, turn the head over to the right, up to the center, take the hands to the knees, scoop hollow and round that back. Lift the arms up, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Cat cow, inhale, arch, exhale, round. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Two more, inhale, arch, exhale, round. One more, inhale, arch, exhale, round. Good. All right, so hopefully you woke up that spine. We're going to rotate it around, big circle. Rounding the back and then arching the back, moving forward, coming around and rounding the back. How's the breath moving with all this? As you come around and round the back, C-shaped spine, you exhale. As you come forward and arch your back, you inhale. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's go in the opposite direction. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good. Stretching forward, little stretch in the hips. Three more breaths here. And roll it up. Switching legs. Stretch forward again. And roll it up. Raise the arms up, deep breath. Exhale over to that left. Inhale up. Exhale over to that right side. And reach up with the arms, lengthen the spine, shoulders away from the ears, and over to that left side. Now reach over with the right hand as far as you can. Inhale, left hand up, left arm faces the ceiling, bring it down, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Feel the stretch in the side of the body, left arm that faces up, left arm forward, right hand up, right arm that faces up towards the ceiling. Last time, here we go, left hand all the way over the head and down. Good. Take a deep breath, raise the arms up, lengthen. Exhale, lengthen, and then twist, looking over this left shoulder, four breaths, bring the shoulders down. Turn the head, and then the body, bring the arms up, and lengthen and twist, and look over that right shoulder, four breaths. All right, let's move. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. Come back to the center. Rotate the shoulders backwards. Rotate the shoulders forwards. Shrug the shoulders up, bring them down, up and down. Three, two, one. Good, bring the palms together. We're gonna to rotate our wrists, warming up our wrists. So how does this go? This is how we do it. 
Take the tops of the hands together, fingertips facing the body, fingertips away from the body, and then returning, bringing the palms together. Here we go. Three, two, it's a test of your coordination, and one. Now, opposite. So, tops of the hands, fingertips away, fingertips towards you, palms together. Tops of the hands, fingertips away, fingertips towards you, palms together. Keep going. Three, two, one. Good. Stretching the fingers. Now stretching the wrists even more. Fingertips are facing your body. Bring the palms down. Try not to bear too much weight on the wrist. We're just stretching the flexor tendons and muscles of the forearm. I don't mind my elbows. I have overstretching due to my condition. So this is, you know, I don't want you to lock like where I am, try to keep it at 180. Now take um, the tops of the hands on the mat like so. Good, and shake it out. Okay, we're gonna stretch the shoulders now, the deeper. Take the hands, interlace the hands behind you. And a lot of yoga teachers try to force it and say, hey, put the palms together. It's okay, most of us cannot do that. So just as long as you interlace your fingers and move slowly forward and stretch to your limit, bring the arms overhead. So bringing the palms together is not really a goal here. It's all about stretching the shoulders. Forehead to the ground. Slowly come up. Good. Let's cross the right arm over the left, just like we did when we were laying down. Turn the head to the right. Now turn it into the left. Come back to the center. Uncross, take the left arm over the right. Now I'm gonna go in profile so you can see what this looks like posture-wise. The Pilates teacher in me always wants to focus on that. So a lot of us tend to do this and sit back. I want you to always keep that pelvic floor in and up, navel to the spine, keep that lumbar region nice and flat, so no arching, no rounding. Okay, so nice and flat, just like this. All right, cross the right arm over the left, walk the fingertips of the shoulder blades. Good, turn to the left. Come to the center, turn to the right. Come to the center, turn to the chest, good. All right. Now, I face you again, we're gonna do eagle arms, just like eagle pose that we do standing. So bending elbows, 90 degrees. Take this right hand underneath the left elbow, palms face each other. Inhale and exhale, draw the elbows towards the chest, chin to the chest. Rotate that right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to the chest. Rotate the left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to the chest, unwrap. Other side. Take this left hand underneath the right elbow, palms face each other. Inhale and exhale, elbows to the chest, chin to the chest. Rotate that right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to the chest, left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to the chest, open the arms out. Good. All right. Bring the legs straight out, flex and point the toes. Keeping the back nice and straight, elbows hugging the ribcage, shoulders away. Keep the feet flexed, inhale to prep. Exhale, bring the palms away from the midline. Inhale, return. Exhale, open. So you should feel your muscles underneath the shoulder, which teres major, teres minor, activated. And it's also activating the upper back muscles. It's a postural exercise, keeping your upper back nice and strong. Focus on the breath, inhale to prep, exhale open, inhale return, exhale open. 
All right. So at this point, I want to do alternate nostril breathing, doing the exercises of break, the physical exercises, and focusing on the breath work once again. Make a fist with your right hand. Take the last two fingers out and thumb. Take the thumb to the right nostril. Inhale through the left for six. Feel free to cross your legs if that's more comfortable. Hold three, two, one. Last two fingers on that left. Exhale through the right for six. Inhale through the right nostril for six. Hold three, two, one. Thumb on the right nostril. Exhale through the left for six. All right, go at your own pace for cycle of five. One more time. Hold three, two, and big exhale. Okay, we're gonna move on to tapping, emotional freedom technique, tapping through the chakra points and using an affirmation. I am strong, I am balanced. Index finger and middle finger, top of the head. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong. I am balanced, third eye. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. Right below the eyes. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. Upper lip. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. Chin. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong. I am balanced. All right, jugular notch where the clavicles end. There's a U-shaped notch, tap there, throat chakra. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. Sternum heart chakra. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. Solar plexus, find your rectus abdominis muscle right where the rib cage is, right below the rib cage by the xiphoid process. So if you don't know what that is, that's this little hanging portion of your sternum. And you go two fingers above, if anyone knows CPR, that's the spot. Okay, solar plexus, here we go. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. I am strong, I am balanced. Find the belly button, navel, two fingers below. That would be your sacral chakra right in the middle of the pelvis. So for us females, it's the, the uterus. Okay, here we go. The center of creation. I am strong. I am balanced. I am strong. I am balanced. I am strong. I am balanced. Root chakra, you could do pubic bone or hips. I prefer hips, just easier access. Here we go. I am strong. I am balanced. I am strong. I am balanced. I am strong. I am balanced. Good. Tap all out. All right, rocking the cradle is next. Bend this right knee, right hand underneath the shin. Right foot over either to the palm if it's too much for you, if it's too deep of a stretch, modify. If you wanna go deeper, place that foot around this left elbow and just gently rock back and forth. Feel the stretch in that right hip. And now take care of your baby, your right foot and rock it left to right. Place your right ankle onto the thigh, bring the arms up, knees forward. Hook the hands around the left foot. The right foot is around the left arm like so. Notice my back is flat, so I don't round my back. It doesn't allow me to go as far down, but that's fine. It's actually healthier for my back, especially as you get older. All right, come on up and place your right foot to the inner left thigh, keeping the hips square, bring the arms up, hinge forward. If you're feeling flexible, take your left hand behind the back. 
forehead towards the shin, whether it reaches or not. Good, come on up and let's do butterfly sitting up. Take your elbows to the inner thighs. Take the hands to the ankles, reach forward, more breaths. And come up, straight up this right knee, flex the right foot and rocking the cradle on this side. So your left knee is bent, your left hand goes underneath that shin, your left foot goes over to your right elbow and embrace your leg, your foot is your baby, rock the cradle forward and back, side to side. Place your left ankle onto the thigh Keep the back straight and hook the hands, interlace the fingers and hook the hands around that right foot. Hook this left foot around the right bicep here. Hinge forward, four breaths. Good, come on up. Place your left foot to the inner right thigh. Keep the hips squared, raise the arms up. Hinge forward and take this right hand behind the back. Gently come up and now create a diamond shape with the legs. Take the hands underneath the ankles for turtle pose. Let's show you in profile what this looks like. This is one of the few poses where you have a C-shaped spine. So you actually take that knee into the spine, hands go underneath the ankles and pull forward, let gravity do the work. Good, slowly come up, shake it all out. Bend this right knee, right foot over the left thigh. Flex the left foot. Take your left elbow to the outside of the right knee, like so. Lengthen first and then twist them over that right shoulder. Four breaths. Turn the head, <clears throat> then the upper body, breathe into the opposite side and come back, <clears throat> switch, bend the left knee, take the left foot over the right thigh, take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee, lengthen it, twist the over that left shoulder, four breaths. Turn the head and then the body to the opposite side and return. All right, open the legs into extended wide ankle pose, otherwise known as a strap. Take the bolster in front of you. Keep your knees up, facing the ceiling, toes facing the ceiling. With your bolster, we're gonna slide down and up, down and up, you're gonna inhale, slide forward, keep the elbow straight. Exhale, slowly come up. Repeat three more times, here we go. Inhale, exhale, two more times, inhale, exhale, one more time, good, and now we're going to go down and stay, stay here for three deep slow breaths. Gently come up, 
left hand to the bolster, right hand overhead, right hand all the way over to the left foot. Four breaths here. Gently come up. Right hand on the bolster, left hand up. And over to that right foot, four breaths. And come up. Good, bring the legs together. Let's come into a child's pose with the knees on the bolster, open the knees out, big toes together. Forehead to the ground. Now walk the hands over to the left side, right hand on top of the left. Walk the hands over to the right side, left hand on top of the right. Come back to the center, bring the knees together. Come up and tummy in. Draw the toes under. As your tummy is in, right foot forward, hip square, neutral, lumbar spine. Okay, so that lower lumbar vertebrae, nice and straight. Navel to the spine, pelvic floor in and up, push the hips forward, hips to square. Keeping, reminding you of that all the time. Shoulders down, reminding you of that. Very slowly lift the arms up and bend the elbows 90 degrees as you open from the chest and not the lower back. Three breaths here. And come back, switch. Go lunge on this side, left foot forward. Tummy in. Hips to square. Push the hips forward. But once you find your sweet spot, hips to square, pelvic floor in and up, navel to the spine. Lift the arms up, open the chest, bend the elbows, 90 degrees. Four breaths here. Good. And release. This time, knees together, child's pose, knees together, round your back, hands to the heels, forehead to the bolster. Good. And now we're gonna do the Hindi squat. So a lot of us are not very flexible. Um, Americans can't really squat very easily, so we're gonna practice that. This bolster is there as a guide so that your ischial tuberosity, your buttocks, is going to touch, hopefully. Open the knees out. And hopefully you can touch that booty, <laughs> your tailbone, all the way to the bolster. Take the elbows to the inner thighs. And take the hips, the glutes, buttocks, right down to that bolster. Open the chest, four breaths here. Hindi squat. Turn your feet out, they should be flat. If you can't, that's fine. You'll have your balls and the feet on the ground, that's fine. And the heels will be up. Whatever your flexibility is for today, just focus on that and fully breathe into the space. And don't expand beyond your limit. You know your body. Listen to your body. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good. And let's do a forward bend. Bring the feet neutral, flat, not turned out, flat on the ground, facing like the same alignment with the bolster. Use the bolster as a guide and place the hands behind you on the bolster. Let the head hang. Good. Now bring the hands in the front. Center this left hand on this bolster. Twist and bring the right hand up. And now take the hand behind the back. 
and draw that shoulder towards the wall behind you. Good, raise the right hand up and bring it down. Let's go to the opposite side. Center this right hand right by the bolster. Left hand up towards the ceiling. Bend this left elbow. Take that left hand behind the back and draw that left shoulder towards the wall behind you. Lift the left hand up and come back. Good. Place the bolster in front of you. Place the hands on the bolster. And now we're gonna stretch the shoulders. So bring the big toes together, knees apart, stretching the shoulders, armpits towards the ground. Now I'm gonna go profile for the next one so you can see how this next uh, stretch goes. So stay here for a couple more breaths. Good. Now center this left hand, thread this right hand underneath the left armpit. Walk the right hand all the way over to the left side. Keep the shoulder square, forehead to the ground. Try to keep your hips towards the heels. Now take the right hand on the bolster and thread the left hand all the way over to the right side. Shoulders are square, left shoulder on the mat. Good. And then slowly come up. Bring the knees together, drop the right hip down, and bring the legs around. Let's move right into our shoulder bridge. Use your abdominals as you work your way down. Keep the tummy nice and engaged. Slowly come down. Very gently use your abdominal muscles. All right, bend the knees. We're gonna bend the knees, feet are flat. Notice my feet are flat, it's parallel to, to each other. Okay. Again, don't arch your back, navel to the spine. When you are ready, take a deep inhale and lift the pelvis up. Bring the shoulders as close to each other as possible. You can keep your palms down or like me, I like to support my back. Place your hands by the lower back. Okay, four breaths up in this shoulder bridge. Feel free to adjust. Things will pop and creak. The older we are, the more we're creaking and popping. Keep breathing. Three more breaths. Deep breaths. Two more breaths. One more breath. Roll down one vertebra at a time. Good. Feet up, bend the knees, open the cowboy knees out, hands, palms, and soles of the feet together in happy baby. Rock back and forth three times. Three, two, and one. Good. Find your bolster one last time. You're going to place this bolster right underneath the tailbone, below the lower back. Nice and relaxing uh, inversion here. No handstands, headstands, or shoulder stands. Just simply allow the blood flow to reverse without any effort. Bring the legs up. You keep your hands anywhere you want. If you want to turn this into a stretch, letting gravity do the work. You could do a straddle and feel the inner thighs, the adductors stretching. You can actively stretch by uh, placing your hands by the legs and opening the straddle even more. Or if you don't want to stretch and just chill, bend the knees and breathe. Just you can wiggle and just loosen up the muscles, whatever works for you. It's your practice today. One more minute here.
Legs down, arms overhead. Just feel the hip flexors stretching here. So let's do that even more. Go deeper into that left hip flexor by bending the right knee and interlacing your hands around the right knee. Keep the left knee straight. Feel the stretch here in the left hip flexor. One more breath. Switch. Three breaths here. And release. Good. Lift the pelvis up. Place the bolster away. For now, tuck the knees into the chest. Draw the knees over to the left, upper body twist to the right. Try to keep that right shoulder on the mat. Keep the head neutral if you have neck issues. Otherwise, you can turn your head towards the right hand. Three more slow breaths. Good. Switch. Knees over to the right. Upper body twist to the left. Left shoulder on the mat. And come back. Cross at the ankles. Round your back. One more time. Massage that spine by rocking back and forth. Three times. Three. Two, one, find your bolster, place it behind the knees, and the last 10 minutes will be a guided meditation. So you get nice and settled into the mat, yoga nidra, which means guided meditation in supine position laying down. Place an eye pillow, perhaps you have some essential oil like lavender, that works as well. And definitely a pillow or a bolster behind the knees to support that lower back. So buddy, get settled now as we move into the last portion of our practice. All right, when you're ready, Moving into progressive muscle relaxation, start with your toes. Go ahead and point and flex your toes. Point and flex. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Relax the feet and forget about the feet. Let them melt into the ground. Let the heels feel heavy into that ground. Come to the lower legs, knees and thighs. Squeeze the muscles tight. Take a deep breath. Exhale, relax the muscles of the thighs. Come to the glutes and lift the hips up slightly off the mat if you can. If not, just squeeze the glutes. Take a deep inhalation. On that exhale, relax and let the hips melt into that mat, into the ground. Now bring that awareness of your breath up into the abdomen. So go ahead and take a deep inhale, inflate the inhale and inflate the belly. Hold that breath just in the abdomen, hold, hold. Now open the mouth, big sigh, let it out. Now take that breath and bring the breath up into the chest and rib cage and hold. Now open the mouth, big sigh, let it out. Now imagine all the way up to the apex of your lungs. So your lungs expand literally all the way up to above your collarbone or clavicles. So take that deepest breath from the belly, chest, rib cage, all the way up to the clavicles, hold. And big sigh. Open the mouth, let it out. Come to the hands. 
lift the hands slightly off the mat. Squeeze, make a tight fist. Inhale, stretch the fingers out. Exhale, release and let go. Up to the shoulders, lift the shoulders up off the mat towards the ears, deep breath. Exhale, release and let go. Come to the facial muscles, squeeze and squint the face tight. Stretch the face, open the mouth, stick out the tongue, release and let go. Let go of the lower jaw, of the upper jaw. Allow the tongue to release from the roof of the mouth. Allow the eyes to relax and sink into the eye sockets. Allow yourself to let go of any possible wrinkles around the forehead or scalp, wherever you're holding tension. Become aware of it and let it go. And now scan the body one last time from head to toe. And look for any remaining pockets of tension, whether it's physical tension, mental strain, or emotional imbalance. <clears throat> Take a deep breath. Bring your awareness, your consciousness to that space. And big exhale, allow yourself to release it. Cycle with the breath now. Breathing in the relaxation, exhaling out the tension. Breathing in positive energy, exhaling out negativity. And as we try to meditate, the monkey mind rises. Random thoughts pop up. This happens also when you try to go to sleep. So just simply see them as electrochemical reactions in the brain. Pay them no mind. Witness the thoughts, but don't engage. Let them go one by one, one by one, like little clouds in the sky. Take a deep breath. With each exhale, each thought process just gets blown away, floats away one by one. And as you empty the vessel of your mind, you awaken to your true self, the little light of yours, the spark of divinity within the heart space. That is your true self, the soul. Pure, peaceful energy, white light. See it pulsating, healing white light to all the cells of the body, transforming the tissues, the organs, and the organ systems back into balance. Now that guiding white light, the light of your soul, take your soul on a journey. Your soul journey is in a beautiful place. Visualize yourself in Norway. Tall mountains surround you and a river between these mountains. A majestic, beautiful mountain to the left and to the right of your vision. And right in front of you, unending, serpentine, beautiful river, tall. Along this riverbank, you lay down and connect with Mother Earth. The grass is green. And it is summer. The mountains are filled with trees. But the apex of these mountains are filled with snow, complementing the various patches of beautiful, small, cumulus crowd clouds. And the blue sky is clear, and the vision of the sun is within your view. Begin to engage with the energy of that sun, nourishing and warmth to your body 
as the cool breeze and the mountain air washes over that body. Breathe in that crisp mountain air and take in that beautiful sun. Feel the warmth from the feet to the ankles, to the lower legs, knees, thighs, hips, sacrum, to the abdomen and up the spine, along the vertebrae, all the muscles relax and acquiesce to the warmth. Feel the warmth across the chest, the heart and lungs relax. And you embrace the sun's rays across the shoulders and arms and forearms, wrists, palms, and fingertips. Feel the warmth across the neck muscles and face, and finally the scalp. And as that heat is released from your body, you are left completely at peace in your sacred space. Body's relaxed, breath is calm, mind is clear, soul uplifted. Enjoy that peace and serenity. When you are ready, come back to the present moment. Wiggle the fingers and toes, stretch the arms and the legs. Yawn if you need to. Come back from that beautiful journey, back into the present space and time. That was your little mini vacation to Norway. <laughs> Go ahead and lay over to the right or to the left side, whatever side you feel comfortable with. As I read to you a quote, by Kyle Gray, his book is Angel Numbers, and the random quote that I picked from page 140. Here it is. Maybe this resonates with someone out there. You must be prepared to make changes in order for the miracles you need to be brought to you. So change only happens when you change yourself. That's the lesson. All right, come back up to sitting. We end our practice in about a minute. With meditation, I'm going to face, as I always do since this invasion, I'm facing north and east and sending healing energy, Reiki, and prayers to Ukraine. You can choose whatever you want to do in this meditation, prayer, mantra, affirmations, whatever prayer of your own belief system. If your mind is wandering, bring it back on task. If you're a beginner, Simply count the breaths for a minute. That's the best way. All right. At the sound, let's begin. Take a deep breath, raise the arms up over the head, exhale, breath position. And let's say this word out loud or quietly. Thank myself, I thank myself for coming to the mat today. 
connecting my body, my mind, my soul. I am in gratitude for each day, for it is never promised and it is a gift. And always remember to use your gift and find your purpose. Send it out into the world. And remember truly that your health is your greatest wealth. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. See you soon. I'm going to stop Zoom first and then Facebook. Here we go.